Hey there, Scott here. Your video is going to start in about 30 seconds. I just want to give you a little bit of context. The video you're about to watch is part of a series of educational videos. Some of them are taught by me. Some of them are taught by other instructors. The goal here is to bring in experts who have excelled in their niche or their industry over their career and let them teach over to you whatever they specialize in. There's a variety of tools, technologies, walkthroughs, sales, marketing, business, startup, growth concepts and ideas. Hopefully you can learn and the whole goal of all of these videos is to help you level up in your personal or your professional life. Enjoy. Enroll in this course on Hello Bar today to see exactly how I'm getting people consistently to sign up for my email list using hellobar.com. It makes for a really easy email subscribe widget. I'll show you very quickly in this course exactly how to use Hello Bar to collect email subscribers the same way I'm doing today. This has worked way better than anything I've tried in the past and I'm grateful to have the chance to share it with you here today. Thank you very much for getting started with this class. I will attempt to show you the whole setup right now quickly and then guide you a little bit more through doing it. I've got a list in MailChimp of email subscribers here. I've got 5,500 subscribers on my email list that I've built within the last few months since I started doing email marketing. I have my email collection done just like this. And it's on the exact page you see listed on jerrybanfield.com slash resources. And it's under the category email collection and it's using hello bar and I explain to you exactly on this page what I use it for. Do you see this little pop up on the bottom right of the page? It has a very simple call to action on it. Help me reach 6,000 subscribers, your name and email and subscribe. That's how I'm collecting emails on my website. No annoying big pop ups in the middle no other tricks or squeeze pages. This is the only way I'm building my email list right now. This and then on the bottom of my website, I've got a place where you can join on the bottom. So I've got an email collection form that says stay up to date via email down here for people who don't use this other button. So I use MailChimp to do my email marketing because it's free for the first 2,000 subscribers. And then I use my email collection here with Hello Bar. And then the beautiful thing with Hello Bar, I'm able to easily split test all these different ways of collecting emails and I can continue to optimize based on what gets the highest sign up. This is the highest sign up I've been able to get so far with sign up as high as consistently 1%. And this is with all kinds of different traffic sources to my website, all kinds of different pages on my website. This is both on mobile devices and on desktop and tablet. This is a really simple system and I love it with Hello Bar. And you see it works. You see I'm getting all of these email collections here. Now yes, if I use something more aggressive, I could potentially get more signups. However, that also aggravates more people. So if you want to build your email list, this is a simple way to do it. I'll explain to you a little bit more about how each part of this works. How much does Hello Bar cost? If you're considering using this, it would be a good idea to figure that out. The nice thing is that Hello Bar is free to get started with, and if you use it on your website on an ongoing basis, it's $12 a month is the plan I use. You save 15% by annual billing. There's no Hello Bar logo. You can do as many bars as you want. You can target devices, do custom thank you messages, up to 250,000 visits a month. Now with the free version, it has Hello Bar's logo on each bar, which you might not care about. You can't do targeting or custom messages. You can only have 10 bars, but it is free. So this is something you can test out for free. And then if you like it, you can upgrade it to the pro level like I have. So I'm grateful that Hello Bar is available for me. It makes collecting emails much easier on my website and I, I'm happy to have the chance to show you the pricing on it so you know that before you go too much farther in. Here's how you integrate MailChimp or another email provider with Hello Bar. What you do when you're actually in the Hello Bar creation process under the goals page, 
There's a contact field you can see if I move my face over here to the right. You can see in the background there's a contact list over here that will pop up right after I'm done with this. What you'll get when you go through that is an option to sync with your email provider. So what I've got here, I've already clicked through so you need to log into your email provider and then it will sync up right here like this. So I've got this list synced up. I choose my email list here. You see that the provider's connected and then I'm using double opt in here. So then uh, this is what it looks like when you're done. I change the name to MailChimp. I hit done. So now this is integrated with my MailChimp list over here. So this is my contact list integration and then all my contacts are synced up with MailChimp directly. So what I do then is this is in, you have to hit either edit list or create new contact list when you get started. You hit create new contact list, you pick out your email integration here and this is the current list of options that Hello Bar has available. If you've got MailChimp, Infusionsoft, Eye Contact, Constant Contact, Get Response, lots of programs here. And then if you just straight up have a web hook where you can have your email provider or something like Zappy or Grab It, you can use a web hook if it's not on there. So what I've got, I've got my MailChimp list and over different times I've had to go do this different ways with API keys, but this is the most current. So once I have that on my hello bar, then I have that synced and saved. So now if you've already done this on a bunch of different hello bars, the problem is you need to go then adjust these over here and then click next and save and publish. So I have to update these on my existing hello bars because I just made a small change. Instead of using API keys, then I'm using this new way I showed you to do it. So if you just do it straight off directly syncing, then you can have it in there. But anyhow you do it, it will send a double opt-in confirmation emails, what the recommended method is. If you turn that off, it'll add them straight to your list when you go through and have someone subscribe it. I recommend test this out to make sure how you think it works actually is how it works. One of the most difficult parts of setting up any email collection is your call to action. What do you put on what page? It can get really complicated to do this little simple form which we will zoom in and look at now. This is a really simple form. It simply says help me reach 6,000 subscribers. It very honestly and simply asks for you to do the thing I need you to do. Would you give me your name and email? on my website to subscribe to my email. It gives you a clear objective. You're helping me reach a certain number of subscribers. And then you then get the assumption or the give after that that I send you emails, that I make it worth it to be on my email list. So this is a collaborative effort. You're joining my email list with the implied return that then I'm giving you more of the same as you've already found. I've found this setup initially offensive. How can you just ask for subscribers? And I found it on YouTube. What I noticed, someone who I subscribe to who now has two and a half million subscribers, I subscribed to them when they had a small fraction of that. What they did that got me to subscribe, they said help me reach 100,000 or 200,000, whatever number of subscribers they had. They honestly said help me reach this number of subscribers and I went and did it. Now, meanwhile, I watched lots of other people's on YouTube. I liked their videos and I didn't go and subscribe. Right here, you can see a simple call to action and you can see proof that it works. I've tried a lot of other calls to action. I've tried a lot of other things in Hello Bar to get email subscribers. And this is the most effective I've found so far. You just a simple ask and then what I do is I change the form up with it. The nice thing too, this little headline takes all the difficulty out of creating sales pitches. I bet you if you've done anything to try and collect email, if you've spent a lot of time, maybe 10, 20, 30, 50 minutes if not hours of time 
trying to make just the perfect sales pitch. Or you've even used something like Hello Bar or some other email automation to go through and try and collect and make all these perfect sales pitches. I know I've done a ton of these different Hello Bars. Look at my paused Hello Bars. I did a couple of different versions that didn't convert as well. And then some of these are top click bars on desktop. So even though they look higher, they don't have the, they didn't work to make sales. Look at all these different hello bars I've used before. Look at all these different things I've tested on so many different pages. I've tested so many different setups. And by far one of the best simple things I've found to work is to just ask for subscribers. Does it work absolutely the best to get every single last person to potentially subscribe? Sure, there's things you might be able to do that could maybe take it up a half percent. Is it worth you spending 10, 20 hours of your time to try and figure that out when here's a simple thing that works? Help me reach 6,000 subscribers. Very straightforward. Everyone can understand that. Even if they don't understand exactly what it is they're subscribing, they don't. It's very simple and it works. And you can see it works right here. And I have the chance then to try and optimize it further if I want. But for now, with as broad as my audience is, this is good enough and it's really easy. You can literally copy this and change the number of subscribers. It's that simple. No more trying to figure out, should I say this? Should I offer people a free course? Should I, what should I do? How do I sell it? What do I put on the squeeze page? Just a little bar down here. Now, why this little box? Why this little box instead of something else? Because this is what I use to sign up for other people's email lists after they've helped me. I went to a website that helped me get my first audiobook published. It was by another author. His name was Rob Dirks. He wrote a book called where the hell is Tesla? I bought that book and read that book after going to his website, finding it in organic search, signing up. He had this little box in the corner offering updates. And when that popped up, I said, yes, I'm going to give you my email because you helped me. And I saw that on his website. I put that on my website and now there it is. It's on my website and it's working. So if you want a simple way to collect emails, I hope this is helpful for you. A really cool feature of Hello Bar is how easy it is to test different forms. So what you'll notice, I've got these different forms here with different options. And then I've got all these paused forms. So I have got these paused. For example, this form is basically the same as a different form and it converts at a lower rate. So I've paused all the forms that aren't working as good that I A-B tested over here, and then these active ones are working better. So this is really nice. You can essentially continually try and improve effortlessly or pretty much effortlessly at email collection. So there's a simple way to do this. So I go over here and click on Create Variation. So let's say this one is working the best and I want to try out a different line on it. So I go over to create variation and this is what it looks like when it comes up. And then what I've got over here, I've got different options. I can then put in the form on this one. Then I go over here to style. I've got different options. I can hit the animations. I could try a different placement, for example. So I could try this to come in at the bottom left. Maybe that works better if it comes in at the bottom left instead of the bottom right. So I hit save and I'll try this one on the bottom left and see if it works better over there. And then what I can do, I've got this other one over here. I can try a different variation on this one. And then on this one instead, you see I've got these themes that you can pick from these themes out here. I don't have an image, but I could try different text. Like for example, I could say help me reach 100,000 subscribers or I could say a bigger number, help me reach 10,000 subscribers. Then I hit save and publish over on this one. So that just has a different number of subscribers on it. So then it's got the exact text in the ask also. So it has, and then I can see if the help me reach 10,000 subscribers works better than help me reach 6,000. So I can test all of these out and I recommend having thousands of views to test these out on to get a valid test. 
because if you just have something like 50 or 100 views, it could be purely luck that has determined that. With thousands of different views on these, I can be reasonably confident that it's not just luck that has accounted for it, that pretty much every kind of visitor has been shown one bar or another, and the differences between them are related to how they look. So I've tested out how different bars look, and then I can test different messages here. And then down here, there's a cool thing you can do. You can even test out asking messages that get people to interact. So for example, you can test out messages like this. If I go down over here, I click on edit. Then you'll notice in this one, it's got a little box that says boost your conversions by asking a leading question first. So this one pops up and says first time here. And then if you answer yes, it says welcome. Would you like to read what is new with me each week? And if you say no, thank you for coming back. Would you like to read what is new with me each week? Then the person is somewhat committed a little bit to starting the form out and then it can be easier to finish things off from there. So what I can do on this one, I can test out a bottom left on this one also and see how people in interact with that. So it's nice to test out all these different forms and this one I actually went to edit this one. So I didn't mean to edit it like that so I can easily go back over here and put this one back on bottom right. I hit save and publish and then what I do, I go over here and click create variation and then I make a new one over here in style. I go put bottom left over here and I hit save and publish on that one. So now the one that's worked the best on the right, I try it over on the left and see how that goes. The nice thing is if someone visits my website repeatedly, they might ignore these, but if they then see one of these, they might actually interact with this. So I can test out little variations of this. I click on create variations. This one says, hi, is it your first visit? So I, I've got this over here and I can test this one on the bottom left also. And then whichever ones of these don't work, I can simply get rid of them. And I can even, I can take this on a slightly different angle. I could go create a variation on this one. And instead of saying first time here, I could change the leading question up. Like, uh, how may I help you or something like that. It's better to have a nice simple yes, no question that I think might be related to my email list. And I could say something like, do find what you, do you see what you are looking for? Or something like find what you were looking for. Or would you like to learn more or get the newest classes or something, a yes, no answer. And that way, I've got that interaction and then I can ask for the email after they've already interacted. So some kind of question that's likely to be relevant to a person, something that's relevant for everyone. So find what they were looking for and then if they say yes, that says great. Would you like to get more like that? Would you like to and then I want to ask something like they found what they're looking for. Yes, they found what they're looking for. Great. Would you like to keep finding that or keep up with me or read what is new with me each week? So I've got a nice first answer headline in there. And would you like to keep connected or stay connected or stay up to date or receive? You see, this is why the help me reach the followers is so easy because as soon as you start going to try to write these headlines, it gets really messy. Then you are sitting there for hours even, sitting there writing one headline or another. And the problem is most of the time, it doesn't even matter. And so I could just say something like help me reach another subscriber or help me continue giving you what, help me continue being of service to you each week and then so help me continue being of service to you and then so 
I can just take out the grate and then something like help me continue giving you what you need. There, so help me continue giving you what you need. And then there, I've asked for the email that way and now if they say no, and then what I can do if they say no, I can say help me figure out how to give you what you need. And then so if they haven't found, if they didn't get what they need, now I've got a new form out here. So then I can, I've got this set up and this will hopefully then be given to people who are looking more at repeat visitors. So what I can do on this, I went over to edit, I can then, I can show to a saved targeting rule or I can then edit this and I don't have to do anything. So it's just showing to everyone here. So I hit close and go back no to dashboard. So these, this I can then edit the name of this up here instead of calling it first time. I can call it questions in there. So I've got questions over here and then my everyone default. So now I've got this new one, find what you are looking for. This way I get to test all these out now. I've got, what is this here, 11 different hello bars that I'm able to test out. And the beauty is some of these won't work, but then it, if just one of them works and a person submits their email, then it will stop asking for them when they come back on my website. So even if all of them don't even convert as well, having all these different one helps me to try and get that email address. So I'm grateful to show you this. This is helping me a lot to just build my email list steadily over time, gently without interfering with my website traffic too much. And I hope this is useful for you today. Thank you very much for finishing this class. For your class project, I would love to see the hello bar you are using or if you're just thinking about using hello bar, whatever it is now, I would love to see a screenshot of whatever you're using to collect emails on your current website. And that way you can learn with your fellow students, see what they're using, compare and contrast. Maybe you'll like what they're doing better, maybe what you show someone else will like, and maybe you'll even be able to make a new email subscriber that way. Would you please, for the class project, share whatever it is you're currently doing to collect emails or whatever you were motivated to do out of this class, like sign up for Hello Bar. Thank you very much for completing this class. If you found this helpful, would you please leave a review quickly? This is the best thing you can do to help other people. If you found this helpful to help other people just like you find it and get the same information and it helps me make a living off of my teaching here on Skillshare. I appreciate you making it all the way to the end of the class so much that I'm trying to create new classes every day for you on Skillshare. Thank you for watching this. I hope you have a great day today.